So I have checked out three Enya guitars. I've got three Enya guitars with me. What guitars are they? This is an electric guitar. It's the Enya Go Sonic, the latest release by Enya. This one here is the Enya Next G, which is an acoustic guitar, steel strings obviously, and this one is the Next G N, which essentially means nylon. It is a nylon string guitar, a classical guitar. So I've got an electric guitar here, I've got an acoustic guitar here, and I've got a classical guitar, a nylon string guitar here. Now let's get this straight. What does it make these guitars unique and special? Well, that they all have a built-in speaker. And I know what you're thinking, you probably have seen other acoustic guitars with built-in speakers by now, but have you ever seen an electric guitar with a built-in speaker, which essentially means you don't necessarily have to plug the guitar in to an amp. Now, full disclosure, I've been sent these guitars by Enya, and Enya is the sponsor of this video, but I am 100% free to say whatever I like, or even I don't like, about these guitars. And you will probably see me working with Enya in the near future even more, because, spoiler, I actually like these guitars. Now, for some reason, I was quite skeptical about these guitars at first. I wanted to try them out and see with my eyes, with my hands, you know, how good they were. And I was very surprised, to the point that if you follow me, guys, on Instagram, you've seen me playing these two guitars quite often, particularly this one that I love. I mean, the finish in red is just unbelievable. And lately, I received this guitar. I literally received it last week. And look, I'm holding it with one hand because this is a sort of Les Paul oriented electric guitar, which is extremely light. We're talking about six pounds in weight. Two unbackers, Alnico 2 and Alnico 5, and you've got a magic button here, which turns on and allows you to actually change the sound, change the preset, because these guitars come with a bunch of Enya presets at the touch of a button, like this. And it changes the color because it goes essentially from clean to overdrive to distortion and more than distortion type of sound, extra distortion type of sound when you get to the purple. Now, how do you control all this? Yes, you can do this from here and it's kind of similar on the other guitars I'm going to show you, but you can also do it from your phone. And I honestly couldn't believe how easy it is to do so. Uh, mostly because, you know, other guitars have apps that you can control from your phone, but some of them are not so easy to use. And this one is incredibly easy. Look, I just turned on the app, the Enya app, and there is the shape of one of these guitars, right? And then all I have to do really is click connect. And by clicking connect, I guess via Bluetooth and stuff, it's gonna essentially understand which of these guitars I've turned on. It's gonna show me here Nova Go Sonic System. I select that and I'm connected and I've got my app. And in the app, I've got my guitar tones, which essentially are the presets that I mentioned. You know, as again, without having to connect the guitar anywhere, I can go with some of these sounds, clean, overdrive, distortion, high gain. That's the actual name of when it gets over distorted. And as you can see, you've got the green, blue, uh, kind of like bluish and purple uh, colors, which you can also see here. So I can switch this way and it changes on the app, or I can do the other way around. I can change from here, it's obviously touch. As I said, extremely easy to navigate. You go from the guitar tones where we were, right, this way, to the mixer where you've got all of the volumes available, the settings where you can basically change a lot of other things. And each of these presets is something that you can even customize. So, I mean, it, it is easy to use and there is so much that you can actually do with it. Now, we said that we don't necessarily have to plug the guitar in. Obviously you can if you like, and we will eventually at the end of the video. But if you don't want to plug the guitar in and you want to listen to the sound of this speaker, built-in speaker here, Let's listen how it sounds like and how powerful it is. It is a 10 watt speaker, okay? So I'm gonna turn the, the guitar on with literally one finger, turn the volume up and listen to how it sounds like. <laughs> one of the clean presets, okay? I can go to something more overdrive. And again, this is built-in. The 
sound that you hear, guys, is coming from this speaker, and it is one of the presets of the guitar. I can go even more overdrive. We can go to the high gain. And obviously try some lead as well. So this is literally how this guitar sounds like without having to plug the guitar in and you can control everything from this knob or from the app like we explained and you can play this guitar wherever you like. You can play it in the garden, you can play it on the terrace, wherever you like. And you know how we often talk about travel guitars and we usually think of acoustic guitars? Well, this can be the perfect travel guitar because one is light. Again, I can't believe that I'm holding it with one hand and if you know how heavy usually Les Pauls are, you understand what I'm talking about. And you know, it's so small and easy to carry around and you don't have to bring with you an audio interface or an app, you can just literally play it wherever you like. You can just bring it with you, practice while you are on the train and you know, go to your destination, bring it with you on holiday, whatever. Now, obviously guys, this guitar with this beautiful matte black finish is in carbon fiber, acoustic carbon fiber, which means as we explained that it is light, but it is also very durable. Another thing I want to mention is that there is a fret zero here and the bridge as well, which looks very aggressive, very rock and roll. You may ask, how expensive is it? And where do I buy it? Well, I'm glad you asked. You will find the link in the description below. And the answer is you buy it on Amazon. How easy is it? You can check the price for yourself. I'm based in London, UK, and it is around £399 here in the UK. It should be $399 in the US as well, uh, probably $350, something like that. And honestly, I was pretty shocked when I found this out because I was expecting this guitar to be in the price range of six, seven hundred USD because that's roughly, you know, what you usually spend for a similar guitar. And yeah, it is much cheaper than that. So I consider this to be a budget-friendly, less poor electric guitar. And as you may know, guys, I play guitars of all budgets and I think it's quite difficult to find something this good at this price range, okay? So again, if you are interested, check out the links in the description below, the Amazon link to buy it. You will also support the channel by doing so. Right now, let's check out the acoustic guitar, which is going to be this one here, the next G. Now, first of all, I can't stress enough how nice the design of this thing is. And this is a detachable part, which means that when you put it in the case, it's gonna be extremely small. And again, very easy to carry around, very easy to bring with you as a proper travel guitar. Now, you guys can't imagine how happy I was when I received these guitars, all of them, and I found out they were perfectly set up. Now I've just turned the guitar on with this button. As you can see, there is a display where you basically get which preset you're using. You can also use the looper, the drum beat. There are the settings that you can control from these knobs and everything. It's very easy to use, quite uh, helpful and interesting. But as we said, you can also do all of this from the app. And now if I click connect, as I did before, it's gonna immediately show me that the guitar that I've got on, it's the neck G2 which I'm gonna select here. And I've got, again, the usual mixer, or if I go to guitar tones, other presets available for this guitar. So let's listen to a few of them. So this is the sound of the guitar coming from this speaker. And boy, is it loud. Yes, it is. It is a 40 watt speaker, which is, you know, really loud to play basically anywhere. And if you want to also gig with it, as usual, you can plug the guitar in. And all of these guitars have headphones plug as well, so you can plug your headphones and just play in your ears. Uh, Enya also gives you amazing in-ear monitors, which is, you know, a nice touch. Now, I currently have the volume on 10 out of 16. Let's turn the volume up to 16 so you understand how powerful it is. And you may wonder why there's a microphone here. And the reason is because I want you guys to hear what I hear, which is the sound of this speaker in the room. Okay, I want to make sure that you see the guitar is not plugged in, but the sound is coming from the speaker and it's taken from this microphone that you see here in front of me. <laughs> this is playing finger picking. Again, I need to turn this down. Let's go back to 10. Okay, and let's change the preset. I've got my 
up here. I like to do it from here because, you know, it's so handy. It's so easy. It's touch, you know, you touch on it and it's easy. I, I love it. Um, let's go from acoustic to fusion. Okay, where there is a preset, which as you can imagine, I've used a lot because it's called R&B. <laughs> Let's use another one, which is called Breathe. Quite cool, if you ask me, and as I said, this is all built in, it's unbelievable, there are so many. I would show you them all, but it would take me too long. So I'm just gonna move on now to the other guitar, which is the next G2, but this time it's N, which means nylon. So we're gonna go through an actual nylon string guitar, an actual classical guitar. Now, I've never owned a red guitar in my life. Uh, I was with a friend the other day, I had these two guitars in the living room, because they look amazing in the living room. Uh, on these stands, they look like, you know, having cellos. They remind me of having a cello. The cello often has, you know, a stand and stuff. And a friend of mine was like, oh, they look like a Ferrari and a McLaren, knowing that I'm an F1 fan. And I thought about, oh, they, they actually do. That's really cool that I've got these two colors specifically, you know, red like Ferrari and this one, which is a sort of matte black or dark gray, however you want to call it, which looks a bit like McLaren, if you guys are, I mean, old school McLaren, Mercedes, let's say if you are into F1, but that being said, I've never owned, I was saying, a red guitar in my life. And um, when Anya contacted me and was like, you know, we've got a really nice red finish. I was like, let's go for it, okay? And I'm really impressed. Now, I, I don't know if you guys can appreciate that, but it is in fact, again, a sort of matte red, which looks unbelievable. I don't know how it's gonna be with these lights, you know, on camera, but it looks unreal. And then I'm gonna turn the guitar on, and as usual, when the guitar is on, you're gonna have this logo blinking, which again, it's another nice touch. I'm gonna connect the guitar, as usually, it takes me literally three seconds, already done, you know, I go to my guitar tones, I want to show you a couple. First of all, I want to show you one, which is called Bossa, and it's great if you guys play Bossa Nova, as you guys know, I do play Bossa Nova. <laughs> Again, 40 watts of power for this one as well on the built-in speaker. And I was now on eight out of 16, so half volume. If I go up, it's gonna be, you know, unreal. I'll go to 14 out of 16, but I'll change the preset. This is simply called Warm. <laughs> Guys, the difference between this one and this is obviously in the feel, because the feel of this is more like a classical guitar, so the neck is going to be slightly chunkier, more similar to what you actually find in traditional classical guitars. Well, this one is a bit more narrow and easier to play like a traditional acoustic guitar instead. Now, like I said, all of these guitars can be plugged in, so let's listen to how they sound like if instead of hearing them through this microphone, through the built-in speaker, you actually hear them plugged in.
what do I think about these guitars? Would I recommend them? Absolutely yes, because they are comfortable to play, they sound great, they have a very easy way to change presets and sounds, because you don't necessarily have to plug them in, particularly for the electric guitar, you know, you can just use the built-in speaker, which is insane if you think about it. And I would say, you know, consider the price as well. They are quite affordable, very good quality, durable. And this, I see this, the, the newest, you know, the Go Sonic, as, you know, the perfect guitar for somebody who's learning and wants to have a great instrument, which you can play anywhere at a very reasonable price. And it's the perfect union between a traditional, you know, Les Paul type uh, electric guitar and pure innovation coming from technology. Now, as I said, guys, you can check out these guitars in the links in the description below and you will also support the channel by doing so. If you want to learn guitar with me, you can also check out my courses in the description below. Let me know your thoughts about these guitars. Would you buy one for yourself? Do you like them? I want to hear all about that in the comments below.